So let's look at a couple of interesting phrases here about the covenant path. We have the Abrahamic covenant, which is God's promises to give us prosperity, priesthood, posterity, if we keep the commandments, which is the Mosaic covenant. I'm just gonna write this down real quick. So what we wanna look at here is, God has offered all of us the Abrahamic promise, all of us, as children of Abraham or adopted in. Now, that's his obligations to us, right? To offer us salvation, to make it available. Mosaic covenant, which was revealed initially to Moses, Mount Sinai, it's been updated by uh, modern day revelation, other prophets. The basic phrase is, if you keep my commandments, you shall prosper in the land. What happens here? Well, they did not keep the commandments. The people of Noah did not keep the commandments. They did not prosper. And as they tried to force themselves into prosperity, it got worse and worse and worse. Whereas the people of Alma, they had actually had kept the commandments. They prospered in the land. Now, we learned, as Tyler was talking about, God's going to give us trials. We cannot grow and develop without trials. And believe me, I would rather teach lessons about trials than actually having to do them. But it is a reality. The key phrase of the Abrahamic covenant is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And here's one of the places in the Book of Mormon it shows up. Right here in Mosiah chapter 23, verse 23. And actually, the verse before we read the word trust. We put our trust in God. And the Abrahamic covenant in this phrase is all about we can trust God. And if so, we will be able to prosper again. It says, and this is Mormon speaking, I will show unto you that they were brought into bondage and none could deliver them. There's no way out. None could deliver them, but the Lord their God, yea, even the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Meaning this is the God of deliverance. This is the God you can trust. This is the same God that took the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. So wherever you are in your life, if you feel like you're stuck, just know you can trust God. He will be faithful to his covenant to deliver you as you continue to pursue keeping the commandments. You do have the promise that you will be able to prosper in the land.